Yo, what's happening, YouTube Jugger here? Welcome back to another video. Okay, so this video is gonna be a three part video again, so please watch the whole thing. This is about the whole new unique that I just got for the rogue. I actually got this the last run that I did with you guys in the shop, so I appreciate you guys taking advantage of that free order of me just giving you guys 10 dungeon runs. I will always give back when I can. The more you guys support the shop, the more it allows me to do free things for you guys so always stay up to date by registering in the shop subscribing to youtube and following me especially in my community tab okay so today i'm gonna be talking about this brand new eagle horn unique that's super hard to get that i actually got that you guys can actually pair it with penetrating shot aspect and do amazing damage you guys are gonna see me in this video in the background just clearing the entire room with one shot because of that unique aspect on this eagle horn unique Weapon. I'm also going to be speaking about the eBay sellers drama, showing you guys real data what's happening right now. And I'm also going to be talking about the malignant DLC first encounters and exactly who I started with, which character and which class I started with. Because even though I love my baby rogue and she is level 100, you guys already know with the malignant DLC, you have to create a new character to access the contents of that malignant DLC or that season one, which is absolutely insane. But this is the world in ARPGs. Okay, so first things first this crossbow this eagle horn unique that i got for the rogues absolutely phenomenal i got super lucky you guys already know when you're running with me these dungeon runs that you guys are paying for on my shop link in the description below don't forget to put your order in that is for the eternal realm nothing for the malignant dlc where those services are concerned is active yet i will update you guys in a couple of days and you guys know that there's services new services for the malignant dlc to help you guys get those hearts and the brand new uniques within that dlc as well but first, I also have to grind out to level 100. This Eagle Horn unique crossbow is absolutely phenomenal. It's a brand new toy. Uniques in this game basically is the best of the best within this game. Give you guys a different play, a different advantage within the game that just takes your character so much more in power. It gives you the ability to demolish everything. And these new toys are super hard to get. But rocking with me, you guys already know, I've proven my point over and over that you do get uniques while using my services within the shop. And we always have tons of fun. And you guys are enjoying those services so i thoroughly appreciate you okay so before i actually let you guys know which character that i started with in season one of diablo 4 and why i chose that character and not recreate a rogue again even though i so badly wanted even though that i got this brand new unique this brand new eagle horn unique bow my brand new favorite toy which just demolishes everything season one will eventually bleed into the eternal realm so you guys will actually be able to access the content that you have previously onto your season one character but that's going to be down the road the developers want you to experience season one for what it is by itself by starting fresh now there's a big reason why i actually chose another character instead of the rogue besides trying out a new playstyle and what that character can offer it actually made me change my character because of how the loot pool works in this game and how uniques drop in this game you guys know i'm always trying to get you guys the best uniques when you rock with me especially for myself too so i can show it off to you guys so you guys can see what it does so me choosing a character hopefully you know you might want to change your character if you would like as well if you haven't already because the pools in this game the drop pools work differently with different characters and i'll let you guys know what's up with that here shortly after this next topic okay so you guys have been messaging me in the shop hey jug there's a lot of people doing what you're doing especially on ebay and other sites but i trust you because i've been rocking with you since borderlands 3 since wonderlands and you always treat me right you always take care of me and we established our business relationship you know i you value you as a youtuber you value me as a sub you take care of me as a person and not look at me as a number like all these other people are trying to do taking advantage of others but i trust you and you always deliver so i appreciate you jug and just so you guys know i appreciate you too but i want to let you guys know what's out there right now on these sites just so you guys know i never want you to get scammed okay some of these people are really scammy again i'm not pointing out anyone i'm just trying to show you guys what's out there look at this right now some people are actually charging up to one thousand dollars to rank your account in the malignant dlc season one from level one to level 100 unlocking capstone world tier three and tier four for one thousand dollars not only that they're also charging you a for different services within the malignant even if you can't afford between one dollar and one thousand dollars they have all the services for three hundred dollars five hundred dollars 
$700 per order and if you want to speak to them they're charging you $1 before you actually put in an order so you can actually talk to them how insane is that so you guys know the link in the description that takes you to my shop my shop is open to everyone you can always use the contact page I do not charge you $1 I do not charge you anything you have direct contact with me in the shop and I do talk to you guys and I do speak to you guys just so you guys know there is no charge to be able to talk to me just like these guys are charging one dollar even before you put in an order they're trying to get a dollar out of you and then trying to get a thousand dollars out of you after that it is just crazy just so you guys know i used some of these services in the past to rank up my characters because i did start this game 10 days late because i was on vacation so when I came back, I had to catch up and I did try some of these service out on eBay and I did spend over $1,500 out of my own money to try to catch up so I can actually open up the shop so I can have these fair prices for you guys. So I basically paid the burden so you guys do not have to go through these services. So I created my shop and have fair prices for everyone that's looking for these type of services. Again, I'm giving you guys the best of the best while trying to provide the best of the best at the most cheapest and fairest price for my time. So you guys thoroughly understand that and I appreciate you because even after the order is put in, you guys still have contact with me and we can still keep talking about the game, you know, what you still want to achieve in this game or whatever it may be. You guys know you're always, I am always open to you and you are always open to me. If you guys want to keep talking, even after you put in an order, I am still there for you. Okay, so check this out. With some of these sellers, I paid over $1,500, right? And I was like, okay, cool. I need some gold now because I'm trying to upgrade some stuff and rearrange some stuff. And this game takes nothing but gold in order to do certain things. So I needed extra gold. And I was like, yo, guy, you know, I just gave you $1,500, you know, within the last week, week and a half of you helping me get my, you know, account to level 100 or whatever the case may be. Thank you so much because, you know, my return is to show you that, you know, I value you by giving you money, real life money for this in-game digital currency so thank you so much for helping me and you know hopefully you know you appreciate my business but hey i need some gold can you you know give me some free gold you know 20 million or whatever the case may be in the game you know for free and there was like no jug that's gonna be 40 dollars real life money in order you forget some gold from me and i'm like bro i just gave you 1500 dollars. you can at least give me some free gold it was like nope it's gonna be 40 dollars. i was like okay and then guess that's what it is but that, that sucks but i'm never coming back to you these guys are making thousands and thousands of dollars just taking advantage of people as to where i am trying to give you the cheapest rate the best rate the best actual service when you're grinding with me so i can get you guys or try to help you guys get the best items in the game while leveling you running you through these dungeons getting you the malignant hearts whatever the case may be i always try to provide the best service for you guys at the best rate and at the same time i'm always trying to give back to you guys when i hit a certain plateau you know you can see in the community page or in my shop i have the blog side of the page that you guys can see that i'm giving away free dungeon runs you know it's three hours of my time i'm still giving back to you guys even with the little that i've made i'm still giving back when and where i can that's because i value you over everything else and just so you guys know these i just got a, a another unique running by myself to make this video again i don't know why this game favors me so much but thank you knock on wood again because it helps me to help you guys because when you guys run with me again i have not one person that did not get a unique while running these dungeons with me so that's so awesome again i don't promise you guys a, that you will get a unique i do promise you guys you will get the best legendary for your gear or whatever the case may be or you will get you know legendary drops with a high chance of getting uniques running with me and so far everyone knock on wood again has got a unique while running with me some people actually got eight uniques within 35 dungeon runs so you guys are amazing and i do try to give you guys the best that i can okay moving on from this topic just one more thing on that just be careful who you shop with and just so you guys know i am always here for you guys above everything been with you since borderlands 3 since wonderlands and now through diablo 4 i am here for you over everything else okay so i did want it to go with the rogue for the malignant season one but i didn't i chose the weakest character because the sorcerer i actually want to try that end game build out of crackling energy because it seems so powerful and fun and it will allow me to actually run you through these dungeons even quicker than rogue and i know you guys are like dang dude you're actually running me through these dungeons with the rogue really super fast we're going back to back to back to back on these dungeon runs can you actually get quicker than like four to five minutes of dungeon run and i actually believe i can actually do more for you guys in the malignant dlc with the sorcerer being almighty powerful powerful at the very end game build so i'm working so hard to try to get those services up to par for you guys for the malignant season one that's coming to my shop 
hopefully in a couple of days once i rank my sorcerer up to level 100 so you guys can have those services just so you guys know the shop is still open right now for the eternal realm so if you guys are still looking for those services of those dungeon runs to try to get those uniques on your main character not your all character those services are still available today speaking about uniques another reason why i chose a sorcerer because the sorcerer and the barbarian loot pool drop for uniques is totally different from the rest of the characters it's actually easier for barbarians and sorcerer to try to get the biggest and best unique within this game the harley coin crest unique because they don't have a unique helmet pool that's catered to their character so within that rotation it's easier actually for that harley quinn crest unique to drop for them so that's another reason why that I chose a sorcerer over going back with Rogue. Okay, so the season of the Malignant, season one in Diablo 4 is absolutely amazing. Besides all the glitching and the loading screens and all the technical issues with the bugs and everything. Other than that, the season is absolutely phenomenal. The Malignant Hearts will actually just give your guys, your characters, super duper powers. And hopefully you guys are getting some of the hearts right now, trying it out. But I will try to get you guys those legendary hearts for your characters and unique gear within the DLC. Just so you guys know, the Eternal Uber uniques are actually in the Malignant DLC as well. And together, I know we can get those for your characters. Services of that, will, again, will be in the future in the coming days once I get my stuff together. So I can be able to help you guys. So until next time, remember, treat yourself. Don't cheat yourself. I'm Jug. Love you guys to the fullest. And I'll see you here for another one. Peace.